you the question that I was just about to ask you. <laughs> How do you play Raving Fans? Yeah, I think this is where, like, if people can grab a hold of this, it can change the game for you. And I learned this example. I got to give credit to Jay Bear. Um, and he wrote the book Utility. I mean, just a brilliant mind. But he talks about this concept of when you walk into a room and you flip on the light switch, nobody freaks out when the lights come on. Nobody goes, oh, my gosh, thank you so much. The lights are on because you expect it to happen. You just expect when you flip on a light switch, the lights come on. And here's the mistake we make in real estate. We think if we help people and sell a home or help them buy a home, they're going to rave about it. You don't understand. They see that as the light switch. That's what they're paying you for. They are paying you to sell their home and to help them buy a home. So when you do what they pay you for, they don't rave about it. Here's the golden nugget. You must do the unexpected to create raving fans. Like when do you rave about service when they do the unexpected? In fact, there was a study done that even talked about how waiters, when they gave an extra mint at the end, their, their tips increased by just simply, they gave a mint after dinner, they came back a few minutes later and gave another just as an unexpected thing and their tips actually increased statistically so it just shows you even the money's there but my main point being there is look at your sales process from lead generation to advocacy and everything in between and ask yourself in my checklist of all the stuff i'm doing where am i going above and beyond and doing things that are expected it could be as simple as when you meet buyers for the first time and you're going to go show them houses before in phone calls before you found out what type of coffee they drink and on your way there you bought them their cup of coffee it's not expected they didn't expect you to do it and it blew their mind it might be you find out they have a daughter that actually is into ballet and so when you go and show them the house you go oh by the way i actually know julie's into ballet there's a dance studio a ballet school about 5 miles from here it's unexpected. It's, that's what they will rave about. That's what they will remember. Also remember this applies in the reverse in the, in the negative. If you do the unexpected from a negative side, that's why people write bad Yelp reviews, right? And they write those things because you've done the unexpected on that side. So look for ways in your sales process, in your servicing process, how do I just do little things that are unexpected that will create raving fans?